オーディオーディオーディーオーディヒットオーディーオーディーアソンラクセンアオディーパタウォンセハオディーアオイフェローアアメリカンズハイユトゥエンレッツゴーシャムトラッキングインダランドオフトフレイ There we go. Um, hello, guys. Welcome to the stream. I'm going to put some music on just to spice things up and make it more like a trucking stream. And to do so, we are going to listen to a playlist called Wanderlust. It's on Spotify, it has nearly eight hours. So it's a, it's a very good mix. And、um, today we are actually, probably it's my first time streaming American Truck Simulator. Probably I streamed in a past, but I can't quite remember. There we go. I decided to start the stream a little bit early because I want, last time we did was cool and all, but I want to start. A little bit early. <laughs> Last time was kind of clusterfuck. So we are a paid driver. We we have to drive between places. So we have to drive along. Oh, look, the streets, the three states that are coming next year. <laughs> But、uh, we started in Tulsa, that's where we are based. And,、uh, or we can go down to four. Yeah, different locations give s a different payout. But also, also on the trip as well. And,、um, could, could be a good thing starting up here.、Uh, we, we are in, actually, we are in.、Uh, Fort Worth、um, in Texas. So it will be a great, great idea to start here, start fresh, start new. Did the game crash?、Uh, no. um, and、uh, we could start the, here. It's, it's my actually, we're going to Texas a little bit. I'm going down south and go up north, like doing the tour of the, the DLCs. We are in Texas, indeed. Let's build the American dream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys are well.、Uh, let's start the morning, slash, afternoon, slash, and evening. Wherever you are in the world. Did the game crash again? No. Think, just loading. Don't worry. Just loading the, the things. Or it did actually. No, it's just loading. And we are in a rainy weather. So. Just, this is the.、Uh, this is. The things. Make it 85. Sounds about right. Some trucks probably need more, but not bother. Okay. There go. Yeah, it sounds a lot perfect. Okay, here we go.、Uh, let's put the headlights on. Start the engine. What I am delivering. Oh, it's just a little thing. Okay. We are here in a beautiful sunlight. Need to do a security check. There you go. Check. This is alright. Let's go. 
I don't know where we are going. I haven't checked the place. But hopefully something interesting. Sounds about right. Come on. Oh my. That's a different way to, to exit. Okay. We are delivering some stuff. And I, th I think it's sunrise. Keep right. And then turn right. Also, it's like turn right. Right on time. <laughs> also, probably you can see there's a new weather system in the game. Yeah, I can just about see where I'm going. I don't, oh, the speed limit is right there, okay. But I can't bloody see the, the speed I'm going. Oh, okay, I can. Well, this is more manual than anything. Okay. It's cold. This is a more manual truck, this western star. Wow, well, the, st the playlist started well. When I check a playlist, like, yeah. So this, I check the first few songs and then... And there you go. Skip a table. You don't want any major issues. Oh, it's getting to day night time. Which is nice. I think I see the lights covering down. Go straight on. Go straight on. And also I decided to go with with my American GPS. It's been a long time since I tried the new GPS. It also fits perfectly with the American way. This new skybox actually looks unbelievable. Doesn't add a lot. Doesn't like. Doesn't add a lot. Also, this uh, this truck doesn't have the beep, 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 beep sound, so we'll be kind of lucky if we don't hit someone. Ah, right, there's a day cab going through the night. Yeah, that's a day cab. I'm I'm doing like some big deliveries, but I'll also do a small ones. The the. Uh, the goal of today is, you know, getting a little bit close to getting a truck. That's that's the main that's the main objective for today. Trying to get to reach a point we can get a new truck. Obviously, with this update, with this update, there's also now used truck dealers. There's used truck dealers, which is unbelievable. Took them so long to add something like this. But at the same time, uh, I think the music is a little bit loud. Sounds overall a little bit loud. But anyway. It's just a tiny bit more. But, uh... I think the the goal of today is to get at least towards towards a new truck. Towards a new truck. And then exit left. Exit left. Yeah, 
that's some weird ex intersection if I ever see one. Now we are on the highway. We can bar we barely see it. <laughs> yeah, we are in fourth row. Uh, I think we are heading yeah to fourth row. Yeah, I remember this. This is sixty-five miles per hour. are heading into the big portion of the map I'm going to put some cruise control okay, get, get this sentry if I need to exit I'll probably Because we are heading yeah, we keep left. We are heading into Dallas. I think we're going around Dallas. And then we are heading into our destination. There goes the big American truck. We're doing we're doing pretty okay. I don't know which speed certainly we are doing. Oh, it says 52 miles per hour. It says so small. It says there, but... We can do a little bit more. 54 miles per hour. Uh, do we have enough fuel? Where's the fuel? <laughs> That's a big concern. Exit right. Oh, it's right in the middle. Oh, okay, we have enough. It's right in the middle. Oh, this this truck is very analog. Which is a challenge on itself because as I play Euro Truck and American Truck sometimes, I do play with the newer trucks like my Scania as a digital dash dashboard and everything, um, which is great. Um, also, even on my other profile, you know. My normal profile I do have I do have like uh, a truck you know I, I have um, uh, I have a, like a digital truck like with, with full digital dashboard and everything this is more manual than it than it is this is more manual and you have to believe on what you have to go do the stuff that it's needed. We are going to wacko. Wacko wacko. Oh Keep my god. Keep left. There you go. I think we are going to use the automatic headlights. Uh eye beams and headlights as well. You can circle around the headlights. Which is nice. There you go, the high beans just goes. A car is coming, so. Oh, it's just overall. Which makes my life a lot more easier, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, there's a lot of things that happen, you know, in the, in the world of trucks and vehicles and what which makes a lot of my life easier to like in terms of buttons and everything. It goes a dodge, a charger, a challenger, whatever. I I can defer the two. I really can't. Keep right, 
I did that ages ago, lady. Let's call it Sophie. Sophie, I did that ages ago. Uh, that's alright. It's alright. Oh, I think uh, we are going to a wait station. Uh, yeah. Por favor, espada. I think it's here. Oh, it's here. <gasps> Keep left and then exit left. Some sometimes it's very hard to find those. Left. Yeah, I know. Let's try to break. Um Obviously, in terms of mods, uh, this game uses uh, some mods. Go, let's go to the way station. I don't know what that means in kilograms, but for the intensity, I I will keep it like that. Uh, there's our weight check for the trip. I uh, see the mirrors. Everything seems to be fine. Um, and uh, here we are on our way down Texas. This truck actually sounds all right. Doesn't sound too inconvenient. I don't know, I don't know the characteristics of the truck. We are heading into Mexico, that's... There's a double trailer there. Awesome. I decided to make this profile. Because of the used car dealer. Finally he's there, finally he's here. I'm super glad it happened. Hopefully, you guys, you can see. You can hear me. Yeah, you can hear me. I'm super glad that uh, the used truck dealer is it is on. Like, it, it creates a lot of you know stories. Try to build a trucking company. Trying to build your own truck from the ground up and try to build an empire out of that, which is unbelievable. There goes another truck. I uh, it is supposed to be seventy five miles per hour. But now I, I I like to take my time. I I really love to take my time. Especially in games like this. I kind of like really. And now we are in Texas of all places. We we are going to head in a very long way. I, I'm going to do a tour around the states. Like I'm not going to stay in the same state forever. Like I'm going to do a tour around, see what's there and what wasn't. Oh, that's a that's a constellation over there. Yeah, that's a constellation. There's a lot of stars going around. Oh, shit, I nearly took the exit. There's a lot of stars going on, which is unbelievable. It's my first time actually driving in the night in this game after the update. Which is immensely good. Like this this update just ten out of ten. <laughs> 
I don't mind. I don't mind like the one thing they added, which is the Picard te technical center. Uh, I don't mind that, but the overall quality of life that this game, this game just bring, uh, used truck dealers, uh, a new lot of, uh, a new lot of like things that change the game forever, new skyboxes, new stuff that it is a, lot, a game changer. I'm really glad they did it. They they did such thing. And um there's oh there's beautiful stars just ahead. Oh my god, we're going we going ahead of that. But there's hopefully when uh, when the update one point four nine comes to Euro Truck, obviously I will test it out and Probably I will make another profile. I will bring a, another persona to this. We have George George Hudson in American side going going to build an American dream. And uh Keep left. Okay. Build the American dream with a company called Fast. The ass is kind of silent there. Fat and loud. Fast and fat and quick. That's the name of the company, really. But uh, now we're going to bring also another persona for the other truck. We need to. And it's going to be. I was thinking about names last night. Like last night, I mean, when I finished the editing, like this update it will be cool to do a story. Know, building an empire, building, um, building a truck company that is reasonable, and uh, obviously you have you have to counter a lot of things that makes uh, Euro Truck and American Truck uh, great. You know, the endless gameplay hours that both games has, and you can build a story, and you can build a lot towards that and um, and now like we, we're going to start this game fresh and it's exciting because now I'm building a company like I'm no mods no strings attached to straight up gameplay and we're going to see how far we go how far we can manage to build a, a trucking empire obviously we're going to build trucks obviously we're going to make money somehow in this game uh, we're going to try to figure out it's very straightforward but at the same time we we have to think of a strategy to make us win money that's the main goal of the game the main goal of this game is to win money now right now the Obviously, the plan is to be a paid driver, like you are paid to deliver, and uh, you are paid to to go around and do the things you need to do. But when we start to have our own truck, we can use our own truck, basically build up that that thing, you know. And the costs are on you as well, so it's basically you. You are going to a company and the company says, oh, just deliver this. You're getting paid in the end. But, um, but we, have, we have to really think our strategy because we can be soft locked very, very easily. And uh, it is it is a thing that we don't want is to be soft locked uh, right at the beginning of the game. Oh, this will be on YouTube, don't worry. Uh, without the VOD, <laughs> without the music, so we are fine. <laughs> uh, if you want to hear the the music, we are playing live. Even the Twitch VOD will not have music after this. So the music is straight on live. Straight up live. So we, if you want to enjoy the 
the music if you want to enjoy the live reaction of things. Um, you gotta go Twitch slash Roman Develt. We we do stuff in here that no other streamer does. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> but we we kind of interact with ourselves. We kind kind of like to go big on this. The skies are beautiful. Uh, like this game looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there's a monument over there. I should have clipped that, but at the same time, I don't mind. When we're going to have our own truck, we 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 do the things we need to do. As I, as it's right now, we are paid. We are paid to to deliver, so we we don't need to spend time doing cliches. So we we need to be quick. We need to be quick. We need to be sat uh, satisfied. We need to satisfy the client. <laughs> and also we we need to be satisfied for our own things. You know. You know, enjoy our time. Look, look at the sky. Beautiful sky. Uh, we're going around around 55 miles per hour. And uh, we are enjoying our time here. Hudson. We are in Hudson. We are, we are going quick in this. Actually going quick. Uh, Hudson isn't like the place uh, where they shoot rockets to the sky. I know there's one like in Los Angeles or something, but I I think out Hudson, Hudson, or Houston, Houston. I think it is the name Houston. Yeah, yeah, that's where they have the space stations or whatever. So we are here in the right place to go send it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we're fine. Um, yeah, uh, like this. This update brings a lot to the game. Actually, brings a lot. And now, now we all need is just seasons and new trucks <laughs> and classic trucks. Obviously, if you are into that. But um, we just need seasons. We are. We have also we have the borealis, like in the northern part. We have the borealis. Bring just seasons. Seasons like snow, wind, snow. Um, bring just winter. And then exit left. Bring, bring seasons. Like fuck the rest. Just bring seasons. Alright, it's, it's here. Oh. Kinda tricky that one, <laughs> but uh, we didn't hurt anyone, which is nice. <laughs> go yeah. straight on. Go straight on. Yeah, let's go. But uh, Brinks is uh, that that's the only thing that will make this game a thousand times better. It's just bring seasons. Just bring seasons. That's a difficult intersection. We need to be careful with that. Keep right. Keep right. Okay. I'm just going to keep right. East. We are heading east to Potmont, Beaumont, wherever. <laughs> I hope you guys are liking the stream as well. Uh, we are going to the the goal of today is to be at least close to buying a new truck. We're going to like to do like three deliveries today. Uh, we going we're going to try to do three deliveries. Uh, it's not it's not going to be easy, but uh, we should see. We are. We started with ten thousand, twelve thousand, ten thousand dollars in our bank account uh, for today's episode, and uh, we shall bring a lot more by the end of this. We 
should bring George George Hudson to a nice uh, truck by the end. A used truck, obviously. And I've been thinking about strategies and how we we're going to face we're going to face some issues. Obviously, if we are building, if we are you know buying a new truck, obviously it's going to wear, and it it will have permanent wear in some of the the parts. If it if it comes to the engine and transmission, obviously it's going to be a big issue. But I probably I'm 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 going to buy the truck. Obviously, I'm going to buy the truck. Whatever it is, whatever the cost, I'm going to buy it. And then keep it for a while. Build that money again. And try to get a sneak. Like a sneak repair, like swapping the engine. Uh, wherever. And try to build that, re build that, you know, build that truck. And then when time comes, we're going to build our truck. And that's, we're going to have our truck. Our truck will be ours, and we we do whatever with it. And uh, we we just we have to just keep you know doing what we need to do, and uh, keep driving. We can also build a, a very good re money on this. Uh, we we can actually build a very good amount of money on this game, because the places are so big between one another. We. If it was Aero Truck, well, I'll be there by now. Keep left. Keep left. But uh, American Truck probably has a bigger map than Aero Truck. Aero Truck is very small. Obviously, it's a smaller continent than America. But at the same time, it is the places in America just go by quick. Especially in this sort of areas we are in now, just, it's a vast highway, free space, whatever. Just go a whole ass all day, and um, and uh, it it is a good way to win money. Like if you are close, if obviously if you are close to multiple enterprises, multiple companies. And you you can win a lot of money from those. In this sort of area, which is ho long haulage, go for it. it. It is probably one of the best ways to win money in this game. Just lots of companies, but long haulage, and uh, that's how you win money in this game. <laughs> that that's a that's an oldie that right there. We are in B Mont. Keep right and then turn right. Let me check if there's no one coming. There's literally no one coming. So turn right. using what I'm supposed to use so but yeah that's the best way to win money in this game is literally those places they can be quite far from each other and it takes quite a drive but at the same time there's a lot of companies you know there's in a way that you you will never be out of a job so you are always, always having a job somewhere. And the next destination is as far as I can go. So you are always going around. That's why I choose Oklahoma to start with. I started yesterday, I'm going to Oklahoma. But now that I think about it, probably it's one of the best places you can go to. If you go to a city, if you go to a city, you you probably are not very good. It's it's good, like there's a lot of companies, and you, you can have a, some sort of you know thing going around. But if you want to win big money fast, you are losing out. 
you are losing a big opportunity. That's why, that's why I recommend doing this sort of areas, like more, more vast areas, but with a lot of companies. Go straight on. Yeah, but oh shit. Like, I don't like when the truck does that. I really don't. But, uh, yeah. There goes the cop driver. The cop. The cop. There goes the cop. And, uh. There we go. Us. Um. 35 miles per hour. We are, we are nearly arriving at our destination, which is the... I think it's the... F Keep right, and then turn right. Oh, there's goblins on even further south. But this is this is quite south as well. So we, we should be in a very good position. Turn right. Nicely down. Don't need to worry. Keep left and then turn left. Don't need to worry, boys. Just turn left. Just a nice haulage. This guy looks beautiful, man. Oh, what? It was green for me. It was green. It was green for me. So, oh, there was a special one somewhere. Go straight on. All right, well, we got our first ticket. <laughs> no, I got a ticket yesterday. But we don't talk about that. There you go. The like when I first when I first started playing this game like a few years back. The amount of tickets I got because of the street signs was unbelievable. <laughs> Go straight on. Uh, straight. Okay. Uh, because you know, in Europe, you have. Keep right, and then turn right. You have the, you have the lights. You know, turn right, right alongside you, like very close to you. In America, they are the furthest away from you. <laughs> So it's kind of hard. It was kind of hard to tell. Um, it was kind of hard to tell where the signs were, Get and ready to turn left. and I I was always getting a ticket. <laughs> turn left. You know, I will. I was always getting a ticket because, you know. Because I was going for the lights, but the, the the place you need to go was a little bit further back, so it's like, oh, fuck. But I, I it took it took me a while to learn, but I I I got it very easily. There you go. I was about to jump on and uh, be on. Be next to the light, <laughs> but uh, now I know uh, when it's. Okay, there you go. Yeah, this Western Star actually drives all right. I set my wheel rotation to what a thousand two hundred and sixty. Get ready to turn left. Jeez, lots already. Is this a train or a? Probably it's a train. Turn left. There you go. There goes the train. I need to wait. Yeah, just there's no other train coming. Okay, I think I, there's no train coming. And now we we park. Should be alright. 
Your route guidance is now finished. There you go. Oh, that's right there. I was struggling yesterday to find the lights, to find the place to park. <laughs> because I was so used to the immersive, to the immersive, like, thing. And, yeah. You know, I, I was so used to the immersive symbols. I kind of forgot. Uh, I will make this even... Oh, there's literally... Oh, there's no way. Should have done. I will try to. I'm using. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I think we are good now. Oh. Uh, we are not even straight. And also... And also... American trucks takes a lot more to turn. The other trucks are just... No yeah, I'm touching something. Don't care. Didn't count as damage. No. So we are all good. We are all good. Yeah, the, like American trucks takes a lot more to turn. That's why they are long. I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. There you go. We are done. First delivery. There you go. 56 gallons and we receive a lot of money. Can we win a lot of XP though? There we go, a lot more XP. And uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to increase this. I'm not going to touch those yet. And, uh, let's check our emails. Oh, it's from the bank. You know, you can load money now. You can load up to 50, 500,000 grand. Let's, let's see how which the options are. 400, 500, yeah. I like a 50,000. Yeah, good. 
Yeah, I'm, I think I'm good. I will try not to, you know, get a loan to start on. Like, it's very easy to do, but now with the used truck dealer and the way we do money, like, it probably is not going to be worth it. Uh, let's try. Uh, going back to. Let's go to Hudson. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Twelve grand. And uh, we we're going to win a lot of money. Let's uh, let's do this one. Still a long one, but it, it gives us a very good cash overall. So we should be golden. Also, it's uh, butter. Uh, we are delivering butter. So we start our morning in the same place we left off. And uh, let's uh, all let's do our thing. Seeds and everything. Nah, uh, that's enough. I usually use eighty five to ninety, but I think it is pretty good. Drive safe. Uh, where's the fucking GPS? Um, probably there's no GPS. Okay, so we have to use. Yeah, there's no GPS. So we have to use the in game GPS. Uh, this is a day cab, so it'll be a different experience. Find a new route. I go. Oh, I have. To... Oh, there's trucks going around. Oh, it takes it takes the emergency a lot more feasible. Oh, it's a uh, day cab. Going to... okay. um, Let's find a new route. I'm just turning around, lady. Because you said so. All trucks should have a GPS. <laughs> By default. Finding a new route. Never mind. Recomputing. I like this GPS. Like. Kind of cool. <laughs> also, it's all logical. Oh, you can say the mouse. Okay. Also, the in-game GPS doesn't tell the speed limit. <laughs> By the f or we are just in a place with no speed limit. Probably need to do a security check here. There we go, a security check. I like this feature. I really like it. There we go, security. Oh, the, we have to do the double security check. <laughs> Obviously it says around here, but I like to, to see it in my truck. One more time. Also, we are heading into a busy. Why the, why the transmission just screams? It's a not a it's a not a very healthy transmission. <laughs> I think I need to go this way. To be fair. Yeah. 
it's uh, not a very healthy not a very healthy transmission it's not a very healthy truck either so we might have some issues all along the way in terms of fuel go straight on go straight on oh we need to go this way okay let's find a new route we your lady you're not saying the things i need You go straight on, yeah, but I was about, you should say, like, go left. Can you be my baby? There you go, that's a, that's some good song. I feel it's um, fine, I think. Oh, fuel. We might need to refuel. Oh, this is 35. Oh, it's 30. 30 miles per hour. Yeah, as you can see, doesn't say the speed limit. It's kind of frustrating. Oh, stutters. Five. Walbert. I also know we need to go left. Okay. No, we need to go on the next one. Okay. Just confuses me <laughs> this GPS all along. It's a not a very healthy truck to be fair. Come on, move on. Wow, you probably, probably just fucked up. Oh my, no! You, what are you doing, man? What the? What did? What did just did? Just straight going into my truck. Oh my god. I'm trying to you know get a move. Ah oh, this will take a while. I uh, wonder what they what is happening. Everything seems to be pretty normal. Probably just lost the way. But yeah, we might need to refuel, so I'm trying to find the fuel gauge. Oh, yeah. oh, it's down on the bottom. Uh, um, left and then turn left. I don't want to use this gauge. Uh, do we have any highways that we can go through? You don't have a lot. Yeah, there's not a lot of. Yeah. So we we might need to take this detour. Yeah. Uh, we might we might need to take this detour because I'm. I'm not liking the idea of, you know, not having fuel. I should have stayed there. But at the same time, I didn't plan this. I'm going to be cutting off straight off. Keep right. No one is coming, so... Oh, 
it's there. Okay. Entrance only. Oh, okay, that's the entrance. <sighs> I was about to go the other way, but there you go. We we're going to make our fuel stop in here. Cause I don't know, I don't know how much how much fuel we need. Jesus. Luckily, I'm not paying for that. Luckily, I'm not paying for that. So, I'm just going to full straight refuel this. 81 gallons, 200. Okay. Yeah, the fuel gauge is just, is just on top of the thing. We did our first refuel. Of the str of the of the um, thing, of the let's play thing. <laughs> there we go. Uh, your expenses are being breached by the uh, the thing, by the the employer. Not by the employer, but by the... By the... I'll find a new route. By the buyer. Okay, we are refueled, so probably we are good to go. Till the end. Uh, yeah, don't go straight on. <laughs> Bad ideas happen. We are we are in sunlight. It's eight eight ten no, it's five thirty five AM thirty seven. And we are just heading to our destination. There's no GPS. <laughs> so we have to go to use in game GPS. Because it, we could try without GPS. But at the same time I don't I do trust the GPS, like the, the invoice GPS, but at the same time I don't. Just don't. To the mission all levels, okay. I say international. You have fuel. And then exit left. We have fuel for 600 exit and... Left. 659 miles so we sh should be golden then should be golden and, and I I actually it was a good idea to refuel because we're going to stay a lot in the highway despite not being like an idea that oh, looks the sun looks beautiful everything looks beautiful in this game right now um like Obviously, we are going to spend a lot of time on the highway, but we we are not going to consume one much fuel because we always be going. But at the same time, I just rather say <laughs> I just rather say that stay safe than sorry. I'm going to be going around fifty ma fifty five miles per hour. Don't care. Goes to 60, 67. 60 miles per hour. Nice. That that's what we need. Uh, the music's fantastic. Luckily, you didn't hear it. <laughs> but now we are in we are in a sleeper. So, we are in a sleeper. So, we can actually take a nap. But I'm not going to take a nap because I have uh, tiredness off. I should put it on, you know, for the intensity. But at the same time, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> uh, so, right. keep right. West, so. It's the same intersection we went before, so... So 
So we are all good. Now we are 55 miles per hour. Which is roughly, in my calculations, around 85 kilometers per hour. Dallas Galvinson. Yeah. You're going to make money, baby. You're going to. I think we need to enter. Keep left. Yeah, keep left. Yeah, keep left. I'm going straight on this. I uh, was for a second. I thought to myself, oh, keep right. No, just keep left. There's a train on this intersection. There's a train intersection and a car intersection, which is unbelievable in America. Sometimes I play this game for ch shits and giggles and, you know, I enjoy my time. But at the same time, I see so much stuff happening in this game. That makes me wonder. <laughs> makes me actually wonder how Americans does this. This does this kind of infrastructures and whatnot. It's kind of amazing how the country is. No, we it's 60 miles per hour still we are still in the city of Dallas to be fair I could go 60 the, I think the, the truck is capable of doing 60 but at the same time don't want to I keep it around 50 55 that's what I'm comfortable with going over that is just overkill Roadworks, roadworks one mile ahead. Mm. So we need to be careful. Yeah. Merge. Merge. Oh, it's 55 miles per hour. Hopefully everything is alright in terms of stream. Wow, that that was strange. Uh, we have a wait station. Oh, it is under construction. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. I think we have to go past a wait station at some point. So, 55. I'll keep you 50. I don't. Fifty-five miles per hour, especially with roadworks ahead. I'm not taking any chances. Inspection, say yeah. There you go. That's the thing. I need to merge on this line. Oh no 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 no! no. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. This is a new part that they are building on. Recomputed. Recomputed. Lady, we need to go to the wait station. You probably need to do that ASAP. You know, when there's a wait station. Yeah, just configure the route immediately. Yeah, this is the new wait station <laughs> in Dallas. Well, probably this is all done by now. There you go. I don't mind the wait stations. <laughs> I really don't mind the wait stations here in America. First, uh, first glance, I'm like, what the frick is this? I thought it was the same as in Europe, right? You know, with the border control. And I, I, I technically technically call them border control of America but no uh, I need to go this way 
I usually I I attempted to call it the, like the border control of America because it, because it was so similar. But now I I know why they are and, and, right, and then turn right. what they are and yeah it's a wait station it it um right. it weighs the the weight uh, of your truck to go safely around certain areas. Oh, the rubber strip. Uh, what is the f speed limit? Fif 75. I'm going 55. I don't care. I'm way well ahead of my of my time. Will take six hours. Will take six hours of uh, my goddamn time. Oh, look, a cop. <laughs> yeah. Um, by the way guys, last last uh, last week I streamed the Euro truck. We went to the Balkans. It was great. <laughs> we had great moments. Um, we had a lot of great moments, including a truck driver that was inside the truck and inside the trailer. Uh, check my YouTube to see the clip, or you can check out in Twitch. There's also the the, the clip there, which is was interesting. And also we had a chatty girl. Um, I don't know who she is, but I took a look, and apparently she she does graphics. Yeah, I I I didn't mind. It is good that people go around, go around and try to sell that product. It's basically marketing. It's basic marketing. If you have something to offer, and you are really good, but you have to be really good at it. Yeah, probably you kind of want to sell your product, right? Yeah. Which is nice. But uh, I didn't told her also do graphics and also do you know things with photoshop <laughs> i kind of understand that idea and i kind of want to i kind of like yeah i know what you mean lady <laughs> i do the same stuff but um it is nice when people just go go around in streams and hey i have something to offer you Oh, probably there's roadworks. Unexpected roadworks. Or it's just literally... Why am I belly? Yeah, it's a grinding gearbox and it's grinding my gears. There you go. American traffic! Ooh, the thought! Yeah, we have American traffic, ladies and gentlemen. One to one. <laughs> Uh, and there, oh, there's a big, <laughs> there's a big traffic up and I just seen it barely. Oh, it's a grinding gearbox. I think with the new damage system, I, I think they implemented a lot of grindy sounds. Yeah, I'm not driving this truck ever again. <laughs> I, I will just say to the owner, just fully restore, change the gearbox, please, because it's... It's not very healthy. It's a, not a very healthy gearbox. There's a Mustang. Austin, Texas. Oh, we are in Austin. Can we see the F1 track? <laughs> I I don't mind seeing the F1 track at the same time. There, there's a lot of cool racetracks around the map. There's one in on the bottom of the map, I think, and there's also the, like I said, the Park Car Technical Center, which is basically half of America. Uh, well, Park Car owns uh, a lot of brands, you know, truck brand stuff. They own Peterbilt, I think, and International. They, they they just go. 
Yeah, they, 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 no, they don't own Peterbilt, but they, they, they own Ken, Kenworth. That's what I'm trying to say. And, uh, keep left, lady. Yeah, and, um, at the same time, at the same time, I kind of see the, the point of adding this. You know, they have a rela great relationship with Duff, they have a great relationship with Kenworth. They they built a lot of things together, and like having a technical center in in America just makes it great. They they don't do they wouldn't do that in Europe because first of all there's no Pacar technical center in uh, in Europe, or I assume it isn't. But uh, at the same time, there's not enough space in the map to just do that. So they do. They do it in in America, which is a much larger space of a map. If you compare it, like if you compare the American truck map to the Euro truck map, in this current stage, uh, in this current state, even Euro truck is even American truck is bigger, and it's going to get a lot bigger. <laughs> Like Arkansas, Kansas, Arkansas, uh, Nebraska, and also Yokohama. I think no, Yokohama is already in the game. But uh, there's a lot of maps that is it will be coming to the uh, as DLC for American Truck, and it will make the map just gigantic, giganticus. I, I come on. We'll make just the map like big, <laughs> and if you if you if uh, one day all the DLCs gets around, like we have all the fifty st the not the fifty states, but like the forty eight states that you know America has as overall. Like we're going to get to a point that even going around from one side to the map to the other will take days. I I mean IRL days. I'm not saying in game days. IRL, exclusively, exclusively IRL. Like it's going to be proper big. So sometimes I go around on this map. And I take a trip. Oh, 2,000 miles, no problem. Takes f three hours of my life, and I'm just wow. Why? <laughs> and uh, it's it, it's usually big trips. It's usually big trips, and Americans just go all out on this, which is which is amazing. We have a. Uh, Truck stop in here, which is not very lovely to be fair, but it is it is a good one. Now the is sixty because we are going past to through a uh, company, and they need some speed down. Hey, look, a crowd Victoria. That that car is famous in America, but for all the wrong reasons. Go straight on. <laughs> um. It basically was the cop car of choice for many many years. There's a Ford Mustang, the Crowd Killer. But now Crowd Vex, some of them are still being used by the police and they are still, you know, preserved and guided. But others like just go straight to normal people and they they go around on this and and <laughs> they <laughs> They just go all nuts with this thing, and uh, it is amazing. Uh, what time is it? I don't know. Don't care. But uh, they go all nuts with uh, with Crowvex. They they do just generally do amazing stuff with it. We are passing a town right now, which it looks very American. <laughs> Looks very American in terms of town, very you know Texas vibe. Yeah. I do 
don't need this. But yeah, it looks very Texas. Oh, what's my PC doing? My PC is fine. I want a truck with a GPS. <laughs> Probably I'm going to install even a phone. I'm going to install it. Yeah. Which is lovely. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not feeling that tired, but at the same time, I don't know what happened today. I'm feeling numb, but I said to stream anyway, because streaming is good. Playing video games while people just laugh at my driving. Yeah, probably something. If, if there was like mechanical failures in the random mechanical failures in your road truck I'm looking at you as yes that this truck will probably break down a thousand times Go straight on. probably this truck will, will break on me like seriously it, it's that you know I wouldn't drive this truck if I knew it was damaged but it's still drivable though, but at the same time. It could it could break on me anytime. But yeah. Now we are driving forty miles per hour on this. Well uh, probably we are going uh, we are going to I don't know we have three hours three hours to our destination. I don't know what's that in um, in time. Probably around half an hour. Come on! Oh, okay. So I have to respect the road r the road rules. Oh, that's a good classic muscle car. <laughs> that's fantastic. It just goes around. I I love American American cars. The old cars, yeah, like 50s, 60s, 70s. Just, they were just gorgeous looking things. That's why I don't mind a lot of American truck, American cars at this time period. You can ha you can hate those. You really can't. Like if you ask any person. Apart from, you know, EV enthusiasts and whatever. But if you can ask any person with decent state of mind. And you go like, you show them a picture of a 60, 50, 60, 70 muscle car. They will just say, it's just cool. It's just straight cool. And uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to be hated, but don't care. But like it is it is such a good cool era of cars. And they raced those things around. It just and it's fantastic how they go around with this such with such things. And um we are heading into our destination. I should be going 50, but uh, the road is wide enough to go 55 miles per hour. I shouldn't, but it's, yeah, it's basically the speed limit. Uh, and it's going to merge, so I'm probably going to be 50 onwards uh, after a while. Yeah, I saw something merge. I'm like, hmm. It's probably going to happen. Uh, <sighs> my god. Probably I'm going to do like four deliveries today. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Uh, we are heading into a highway. is nice 
It is the highway. We need we need a song, A C D C song. When we're going to have our own truck called Highway to Hell. I think we need that. Merge left. The brakes are still distant on this, which is a saving grace, to be fair. Yeah, it is a saving grace that the brakes are good on this thing. <laughs> the rest is just shit. The rest is just a little bit shit. 80 miles per hour on this. Jesus. That's like... 140, I guess. 140 kilometers per hour. I'll be s petrified going that speed down the highway. I'm so used, like, when I go to a different place and there's a different speed limit. Uh, for example, France or whatever. Yeah, mostly France or even Spain. If there's a different speed limit, I'm so used to, you know, 120 kilometers per hour. You know, I'm so used to 120 kilometers per hour here in my country. That if I go to a different place, there's a different speed limit. I will be just terrified. I will generally, I will generally feel fear. <laughs> Because I'm used to a certain speed, a certain way of stuff. Keep left. Yeah, keep left. I'm I'm so used to a different speed that at the same time I'm so used to the same speed that I I I, I will be petrified if I go like higher than 120 down the highway. I'll be petrified. We have 23,000 23, in our current, uh, in our, uh, in our, in our account, so we could buy a nice pair of wheels. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to spend, I don't want to spend vicious amounts of money on the truck, first of all. Uh, if we're going to buy our... You know, if we're going to buy a brand new truck, at some point we have to, like, buying a brand new truck. You know, even for our employees or whatever. But at the same time, I want to keep, like... Turn right. Uh, oh, we just had it. We just had it. <gasps> Uh, that is that was close uh, it was green but then it turned yellow but it was close but uh, obviously we're going to have our used truck that's the whole point of the of the let's play is trying to use uh, used truck try to use them and abuse them but um, at the same time Obviously, at some point, we have to buy a brand new truck. There's no point continue. Or we fully restore our truck. But obviously, it will take a lot more money. And probably, we don't need to restore a full truck uh, in the first few... In the first few months of the company. So, we going, we're going to try to mimic a strategy. Hopefully it works, obviously. We're going to try to mimic a strategy and we're going to try to get around those, get around those like big issues, big issues in terms of engine and in terms of transmission. And we're going to try to keep it like, it's brand new, but at the same time, there's like, different parts on it. So we're going to see. We're going to see how it work, how it works first. So we we're going to be golden. It's two two thirteen p.m. 
and we just passed uh, something. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know wh what's down there. To be fair, don't care. We have a nice fog haze. Yeah, I think it's an haze. Also, first time do, uh, seeing this haze in, in this new update. That will be a lot. That will be a lot of new stuff that is we're going to experience in this game. A lot, and hopefully we're going to experience a lot more later down the line. And um, we should make a thumbnail for this. Obviously, we should, but not in this condition. To be fair. It is 75 miles per hour. Oh, it's a very good to keep it left around here. I don't, I don't want to collide with people. I don't want to collide with people. Yeah, but that's that's a very easy fall. I probably need to slow down a little bit. Go straight on. All right, I probably need to be careful where I'm going now. Because this fog is dense. It's really dense. Oh, it just is. <laughs> I thought, ooh, it's going to be a big fog and it's going to be a lot dense and it's going to be awful to drive. No, it just pees off instantly <laughs> as I say that. It doesn't like what I say, to be fair. So, um, okay. Just why are we are slowing down? Oh, the truck probably is damaging itself up. Oh, I mean, probably I braked. To be fair, we're going to peel off this way. Why is I? I, I generally, I'm afraid of this truck. Sometimes it slows down for no apparent reason. Sometimes it's, it speeds up for no apparent reason. I'm trying to be a little bit worried about this truck. <laughs> it, it is a, a, an experience. Hopefully, hopefully we are not gonna, going to have those experience with our truck. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're going to get a very decent money. Uh, today, I'm going to do like two more trips. I think this is the third one we are doing as well. If I have time, I will do another one. This is the s oh, this is no, this is the second one, I think. Because we and we went to Houston, we went to Houston, and yeah. This is the second one. Okay, two more trips. Easy. Going 55 miles per hour. Oh, it's going. To, yeah, 60. Yeah, this truck. Eh. Oh, it's using. Yeah. Yeah, it's using. Adaptive cruise control. Keep left and then turn left. We going to turn left around here. Turn left. Oh, that that was a bump. I don't like that. There's a a day cab as well. We have seen a lot of day cabs, but also law. Which I'm going to take a thumbnail. Uh, screw it. I'm going to take a nice thumbnail of everything we do. Let me just do 
you the thumbnail. There we go. I think it's it's a nice memory we have of this truck. <laughs> there you go. There's the thumbnail done. Um, so we can have like a very nice humble beginning, but we also have driven a lot of big trucks today. So it's not technically a humble beginning, but any any time. It's uh, we are just around the corner actually. We are just around the corner. We are just arriving off our destination. So, should be fine now. Should be fine. And we're going like keep it going around. Oh, it's the. F Did you hear that sound? Oh, it's um. Probably it's a uh, train somewhere. But yeah, we are we are going to be around our destination soon. Sixty miles per hour, which basically it's one hundred counts. It's like ninety-seven. It's neat. Yeah, it says it's not damaged, but it's clearly damaged in terms of the gearbox. <laughs> I'm feeling gearbox grinds anytime. So, wait. Going to be zooming now. Also, it's tunnel power, I guess, as well. It's probably tunnel power. Yeah, it has nearly half a kil uh, half a million kilometers miles in this case, half a million ki miles. So that engine, if it's not kept healthy, is going to boom. No, oh, it's some. Uh, it's uh, that's the case. Depends on the engine, though. Keep right and then exit, exit right. right. All right, there we go. Uh, there's our destination. Uh, right there, right there. We're going to Bryant Boulevard. We need to slow down to 40 miles per hour. Keep right and then turn right. Yeah, we're going to 40. We are already 30. Don't mind. We're now in San Angelo. Everything is fine now. I don't mind. Go straight on. Go straight on. I don't mind doing that, but at the same time, it's just it's kind of risk. <laughs> now we need to go this right. way. And then turn right. Dun, 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 dun. Turn right. There we go. Just a little bit of a scrub. We are now in some place called Wendy's. <laughs> we are somewhere. Where I need I know I need to Here deliver. Safe and sound. Delivery. There we go. There's a car wash. Yeah, it just grinds my gears. Uh, where do I need to park? Not here. Probably it's around there. There you go. There's the door open for us as well. Usually on aero truck, I would just turn around and try to park it. Let's do the same strategy here. I think it's not
we try feasible strategies to get everything done. Uh, we're going to use the first per this third person view. I think it's all good. Can say goodbye to our beautiful truck, our friend today. Goodbye wow, to our friend. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We done it. Well delivered. Well packaged. We consumed 85 gallons. Uh, I don't know. 507 miles. Oh, nice. We we got another XP. We're going to try to go long the distance again. <laughs> because it will un unlock us more jobs. Uh, more distant jobs. Uh, we have one to, from Houston. 23,000. To Amarillo, Texas. Which, oh, that's a... Uh, that's a very long one. Uh, for Stalken from Hudson. Uh, go back to. I don't want to be on the trailers. To be fair, we are. So, yeah, we are San Angel. We're going to Oklahoma. We're going north, and we have a decent payout. And I don't want to be dealing with double trailers yet. So, let's take a tank. Oklahoma, Durant. Let's go. Uh, let's do our own thing. It's, this is a pit build that we are dealing with today. Oh, that's, uh, I like, I like this. Uh, does it have a GPS? A uh, very tiny GPS, but it does. Nice. Um, now let's uh, let's make it ourselves at home. There's a nice V8 sound. Really? Uh, there's no V8 sound in uh, in these trucks. Because they are all in line sixes. We are in somewhere. In terms of fuel, we are good. Uh, oil temperature, gauge. We see our destination already. Oh, we are good. We are good to go. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we are good. I like this truck already because it saves the level of fuel. But we have to keep an eye on it. It shows the dot already for our destination, which is... I'll keep dying on fuel, I don't mind. Once you have a certain speed... I don't don't like going around this because there's a tendency that I will get killed. Yeah, like that. Thank you. Jesus. Near death experience here on American Truck Simulator. <laughs> We're going to get, we will uh, get our first stat if I didn't, you know, do the thing. Uh, it's very tiny. <laughs> oh my god, it's a very tiny GPS. Oh my god. Uh, we'll keep it just 55, I, I don't, it, it does this in power though. Keep it 55 and I'll keep an eye on the fuel. Probably we don't, we don't need to refuel, but we must go 600 miles, 135 gallons, nearly full fuel. Uh, and we should be golden then. It's a very, very tiny GPS, I must admit. I should be golden then. <laughs> Oh, I'll try to refill to the next customer. Don't mind. But it's a very, very tiny GPS. If I fell, like, yeah. I don't like, I wouldn't like to fail. It's a very, very tiny GPS. I will keep dying on it. And I keep, you know, memorizing myself to it. Oh, that's a very good song. I've been creating playlists recently on Spotify. Probably I should share it. There's, uh, there's a feels good. I uh, feel good music, which is basically Armin van Buren versus the world. <laughs> yeah, there, there's been the great songs that Armin van Buren has created over the years. That at the time. I didn't, you know, appreciate as much, but now I do appreciate it. They, they are quite cool songs, and just it just adds that extra strip crisp that he has on music. Like as I get older, you know, uh, compared to my younger self, as I get older, uh, I do appreciate a lot of types of music, and I do appreciate the essence of the. Good music is good music, and I'm liking the way that I'm being with music. It also reflects on my own music as well. Uh, you know, the music production, what I do, it also reflects on different styles that I can make, on different things that I can, you know, be sure about. At the same time, it's just I feel complete. I really do feel complete. Oh, look. Quality cars on sale. If there was a NASCAR on that bus, I would be, that's very American. <laughs> but it's basically a GD style car, which it doesn't usually go along with, you know, America. I've been kind of on the convoy here, on a little bit of a traffic, but I just like to be 55, around 50 55. I'm so used to Europe. <laughs> yeah, and America is just uh, everything is different. Which was one of the you know the breakthroughs I have to do you know to adapt to this game is overall the overall the just overall this game is a lot different, a lot different. 
I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. Like as I, I as I got used to the game, new things have come and and it, it it's enjoyable. It is enjoyable. Uh, I'm going to be on the right because that's how trucks should be. Uh, mostly in Europe, obviously. That's how trucks should be going on the right. Stay there when there's an opportunity to overtake, they overtake, and it is a big W for everyone. Like this, uh, this truck. Oh my God, is one of those silly ones, isn't it? I'm gonna try to overtake. I you don't have time now. I, I fuck it. But uh, one of those, one, this kind of uh, pickup truck. I will call it a pickup truck. I, I know technically it's not like a truck, but here in Europe, we say truck to, you know, something like this, something that we are, tr you know, in. But uh, in a pickup truck, pickup truck, obviously it's different. Th that pickup truck, pickup truck shouldn't be on that on that side of the road it's going to hurt someone and it's going to hurt real fast uh what why oh there's a an accident okay should be careful then i'm doing yeah oh my god that, that was a big one That was a big one. Yeah, uh, it's our first like proper You're going 53 Yeah, 53 miles per hour Sounds about right but, uh, There's a lot of engine braking which means we are entering a city Yeah, I knew it Let's go around 35 Five. Go straight on. Yeah, lady. Thank you for reminding me of things that I know. Sometimes I do trust the GPS though, and it just says good things. Oh, I like that sound. That's why I wouldn't mind uh, a straight pipe, but on my own self, doing a straight pipe it gets kind of annoying. Go straight on. We go. Oh, I kind of damaged a little bit. Probably this truck has some uh, has some damage, and I you sh you should check the damage before taking the truck. You should check the damage of the truck. Probably something that will probably be working on. Like if you are, you know, in a in a in a trap, and it's a high pay pay trip, but you get a, not a very good truck. Probably it will break down, and you have to take it service. High risk, high reward. You know, it pays well, but at the same time, it's. It is a truck that pays well. It is a trip that pays well, but at the same time, you get a very faulty, very damaged truck. Would you, would you do that risk? You know, would you do that risk over money? I knew it would do it. It was a matter of time. I don't know why he's doing it. To be fair. Oh, I need to take the left side. Keep left. Yeah, 
go. Keep left. Now we are golden. We are golden. I'll probably do it. Probably I will do a small trip just to ease off a little bit. Or we'll do a longer one. If we 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 can have a little bit of extra money. Not towards the truck. Also we have a nice sunset to ease off the day. It's raining. Probably I will go 50. Probably I will go 50. I wouldn't trust rain with 55 miles per hour. Go straight on. Yeah, we go straight on, maybe. We going. My, I'm feeling okay. I like, I like. I like this. It, it it is a relaxing game. Like you can say sh you can throw shit on this game, but the amount of people who want just be free, be free at the, their own pace, it's immense. Especially people with mental health issues. Th th I think that's a good therapy. This game. Just ease off, like you ease off any potential danger you have in your mind. That's why it's so like therapy. It is a therapy to be fair. Abilene. We found Abilene. <laughs> now we're going to, going north. There was no trip heading into where's the state. Colorado or something? No. There was no towards that state, so we go north. We're going straight north. What time is it to be fair? Well how much time been streaming? Ah two hours. So oh, easy mate. Easy two trips. <laughs> I thought it wasn't we this is our third trip anyway. Which was gonna is gonna probably take I don't know a long time. Sorry. Going fifty six miles per hour. Don't lie. Fifty five. Fifty six. Uh, this is our third trip of the day. So we golden mate. Be golden. Keep left. Keep left. All right. Also, I'm using manual—not manual, but automatic transmission. But I have a thing go sequential if I need to. I can shift down the gears if I need to. But we golden mate. Keep left. Keep left. All right. Now it's a uh, an over. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm. It's a night drive again. Seventy-five, going down the highway. Heading north. Imagine if we, if we can see the boreals. That will be fantastic. Uh, obviously, one day we're going to see the the aurora boreals. It, it's one of our you know niches. But obviously, it will take some time because. Probably we are not heading north anytime soon. It's really hard, so. Go straight on. 
We are not heading north anytime soon. But we are heading to a town here. Roundabout? Yeah, there's literally a roundabout. Go straight on. Around. Oh, is this a reference to Back to the Future? Imagine so, I'll be so like. There's the city, like probably the city hall of the town. In the middle, like a very suspicious middle of the road. Like, it got, it got me Back to the Future vibes. He got me there. Uh, oh fuck. Go straight on. No. It, it has decent power, but the gearbox is just Why are we having issues with the gearbox? <laughs> all of a sudden all trucks have we 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 touch have gearbox problems. Like no shit. Ah, the rain stops. <laughs> Imagine so. The stars are climbing, which means it's not a very heavy rain situation. Go straight on. No shit. Obviously, I want to see how like Grimm's mods will do to this because it's kind of comp also there's a obviously there's a weather. A mod as well. There's a weather mod. <laughs> seasons, obviously, if they come to the game, makes you know the Grimm's mod seasons completely pointless. So, at least they they are trying to make this a good game, and they are trying to like make this game a lot better Go straight on. overall I'm day 55 I'm way more more than fine we need we need to start is to you know get perks into fuel consumption we are doing all these big trips but uh, we need to start doing you know our perks towards fuel consumption it doesn't mean a lot, but uh, in the long run, if we are, if we are starting to stick, if we are seeking for long trips, well, we should start, you know, doing, Go straight on. doing those uh, mini, mini little touches. Oh, the the headlights on this are bright as f. Bright as fuck, boy. There's a Mustang. Oh, it's a not the Mustang, but it's a Dodge Challenger. A Charger. I don't know which which one it is. They look very similar back in the day. They they obviously they have they are differences now, but I don't know. I still don't know the difference. Hopefully, someone from America knows the difference or I, I or I could just google it what is the difference between a door charger and door challenger I'll say the difference is one is two door one is four door imagine if that's the difference I'm, pr I'm probably going to be very very amazed Still a rainy day, it's a rainy nights to be fair. Oh, 
There's a Mustang. There we go. This is our third trip. And we haven't slept yet. <laughs> We're going straight trip after trip after trip. We need to win money, man. We need to get money. That's why we are doing such such trips. Now it's 60 miles per hour, which are we are heading into a town soon. I assume. Those little towns in the middle of nowhere, like going straight, straight on in the middle of the road, um, quite scares me. <laughs> it, it scares quite a bit because you don't know what to expect because there's a, an intersection now and you don't know where where the ex intersection will go. Witcher Falls. Witcher, which, which. Wichita, Wichita, I think Wichita Falls. Wichita Falls. Uh, let me just. No, here, there we go. How? Wichita, Wichita Falls. I don't know how Americans pronounce that name, but. Keep left. There we go. Keeping left. Probably didn't I need to, but yeah. Oh, I need it. Okay. Wichita. Probably it's uh, yeah. People people don't realize, and I'm going to say this, but I'm going to not say. I'm, but I'm not going to be straight. Oh, I'm not going to be kind of in the rude or anything. But the thing is, a lot of the Mex uh, New Mexico, Texas, Texas region, for a very long time, belonged to the native Mexicans. If you, if you go down the history and and you, you see the, the things, or it's, I assume something that they are trying to tell you. But. A lot of that region was, you know, native native Mexicans were in the place at the time. And now they are part of the Americans. Uh, lady? I don't know. Oh, they're this way. Okay. Um, a little bit confused, but we we got it through but um let's keep 54 on them but um now a lot of the region obviously there's a lot of you know mexican influence even oh after the years that you know the united states were in around that area uh, were around that area and whatnot that's why that's why some names in Mexico, New Mexico, uh, uh, Texas regions, even some of parts of California, they still have those Mexican style names because all all that part of you know that region was belonging to Mexico a long time ago. And don't try to reclaim those. Please. <laughs> we don't want another war. 
But at the same time, yeah, it's cool to know uh, those sort of facts. Uh, I think there's a wait station. I think there's a way station just up ahead and I'm not feeling confident enough. Cashless tool. Oh! This is... This is... I don't know what is this. Keep moving. Oh, it's a toll. Keep right. It's a toll. But why? <laughs> why there's a toll in the middle of nowhere for no apparent reason? It's strange. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, tolls around that area, I think. I think I saw a lot of tolls. Yeah. We, we are just in a state. We are just in the state of uh, Yokohama. So we are nearly heading home. We, we started here, Tools of Fright, and... Obviously, go down, and we had a little bit of a trip going down, and that's that's what I've been doing. I've been doing just this this area. Now we just did this. We went here. We we went here. Now we are heading from San Angelo back to back to end it. So we are heading home. We are heading home. So. Oh, <laughs> and also the rain is going to stop soon, I guess. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, precipitation going around. At least those headlights are bright enough to be able to see what's ahead. I like the automatic. Uh, uh, I like the automatic uh, eye beams. They are a cool feature. <laughs> so we are just heading home. Like, yeah. I don't know which time we need to get there. Uh, full goal. I'm trying to read. Uh, probably one hour, two, three, three hours. Yeah, probably three hours. Three hours in game, which takes us half an hour. I assume. By by the distance we're going to travel. Uh, in terms of fuel, oh, we are just we are fine. Oh, it's the new Ford Interceptor. I, I said new, it's quite old now, like 2016 when this game came out. Yeah, it's now old. It's nearly 10 years old. Yeah, it's like... 2016, 2017, 2019, 2023. I, I assume like those train sounds are going to annoy me one day. <laughs> I I can hear you like very far away. It's like yeah. I can hear me I can hear them in a distance. Or it's just the music, I don't know. Another toll, I guess. Okay. 
Cash less tall. I think we can go full speed. Keep left. Rerouting. Finding a new route. Ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, it just goes straight on. Cash. It says it's cashless. Oh, I don't know what I mean now. It's cashless because you don't need to stop and go around. But uh, but no, there's tolls in America. And we're going to see a lot of those tolls um, heading towards the east side of America. The the, so the roads on the west, yeah, they have tolls, and you know it's you know a normal, perfectly fine, especially in California. But towards the east, like in the middle part of the desert, there's none. Like you can go around with tolls, but there's a lot of way stations to be fair. But uh, but uh, f on this east side, when there's a lot of population and there's a lot of density, uh, in terms, of, you know, there's a lot of population. Popular right, just and then exit right. There's a lot of population there. Exit right. We'll see. There'll be a lot. Obviously they the government wants to capitalize on that. Oh that's a Portuguese song. I don't. I don't know if she's is the same. It's from the artist she died recently. Doesn't seem to. I'm going to try to find it. Don't care. Sorry. Probably it's Mother Deus. Sorry, guys. I want to. I want to know the name of the song. Patrick Watson and uh, Teresa Salgado, if you guys are wondering. Still a good song though. I think I need to keep... Go. Oh, you baka. <laughs> That's why I don't try to kill anyone. Yeah, you could go to the other lane, you deep. Keep left. Shit. Yeah, I was focused on the song, but at the same time. I'm going to just. We are just ending, ending our trip here. So, no taking risks. No taking risks. Just smooth sailing to the end. We're going to be fine. And I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Enjoying the stream, you're a great streamer. <laughs> uh, I've been I've been happy. Like last week, we hit 50, 50 followers, which is amazing. And uh, thank you for all the people who helped me with that. There's a new goal, by the way. Uh, we are entering the seventy-five uh, goal. For so many years, I had fifty. As a goal, now at seventy-five, 
we reach I'm going to keep increasing like 15 by 15 I think it's a healthy obviously if there's a big amount coming obviously I'm going to increase it by a little bit more but uh, I want to keep this simple I want I want to keep this simple and I want to you know enjoy myself more than anything so I will I will do my best to keep doing those streams yeah we are entering dawn in the rain we have dawn weather now and oh it's heavy rain it's a heavy rain situation we never experienced heavy rain uh, in this new update chances of thunderstorm are high and probably chances of shitting myself is high as well so <laughs> So keep the high, keep the eye on, on the things, and hopefully we're going to have a smooth sailing. The the end goal of this like let's play whatever you want to call it of this journey is to reach the maximum level so we can have all the things and then we can do whatever we want is that's the end goal if we reach the level we need to reach that's the end goal and then we can do whatever we want then and, and that's the end that's basically what we are going to do we're going to try to be a monopoly on American truck. Sneak in. Ah. We're going to try though. Uh, let me try to overtake this guy. Probably it's not going to be a good idea because it probably I would overspeed on me. But well, let's try. Probably reach the speed limits. Right, and then exit, exit right. right. All right. Well, actually, some turning to do. I was getting bored of all the little kings we have to do on the road. <laughs> actually, some actual turning. I was about to get bored, but now it's it's all right. It's fine. We have a wheel on. This truck has actually decent power. I can go very well over 60 miles per hour. I think the biggest difference in American trucks and Euro trucks overall, obviously Euro trucks uh, have, have more power per se in terms of stock power you know stock from the factory power like the um, like the Scania 770S and the Volvo 730S 730 but overall overall like there's there's brands out there that can build insane engines they can build insane engines and they can make a lot of power out of them uh, there's a bus stop uh, it's fine, fuel is fine we are just 
heading to our destination to be fair. We don't need to rush for the gas station. The last time we kind of had to, you know, fuel. But now it's just golden. We, we just, just need to finish this. Heading to our destination. A different destination as well. Probably a small trip. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of doing long ones. It depends. <laughs> it will depend. But I will try. Try to make like a medium. We have a decent. We have a decent bank. Uh, we have a probably we have a decent amount in our hands right now. So. Oh, there's a way station. I see it. I see the way station. Uh, what is the spill in? Probably it's around 45. Enid! Enid, whatever. Yeah, probably it's a way station. I will keep it 45. If they are spinning, probably it's. No, it's not a way station, it's probably something. Yeah, it's 45. Oh, it's a furrow location. Alright, 35. Okay, let's go. Go straight on. There's a lot of train. <laughs> Train passages around here. Let's go. Try. Go straight on. I think I had been to this location go before. Ourself. No, it's too early. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Yeah, lady, but you can't. <laughs> But uh, but I like that. Uh, sometimes I, some things I do like about this game, and others I don't. It, it simply as a game. I like I I like sometimes the vibe that it gets. Sometimes I like the way that you know everything is laid out. I like the trucks. The trucks are a good thing. It's different. It's challenging at the same time. And I like to drive around. And. As any Euro Truck, American Truck game, I was thinking it's going to have a nuances. And it's going to have those things that it's not going to be so good. You know, things that I don't like. Sometimes the AI. Yeah, it's just a bitch. Uh, we are heading into the daylight. Go straight on. You're heading into the daylight, which is nice. Overall damage of the truck, uh, from what I've experienced on this game, perfect. Just perfect. It, it is a good addiction. It, it will keep the game fresh for a while just needs you know mechanical failures like sometimes the engine go malfunction and, and uh random like random because it's a used truck as well so you're going to grind those parts you're going to use those parts so overall you just need to make them like sometimes fail on the player and also the ai sometimes the engine just go boom if there's a lot of mileage on if there's a lot of mileage on the truck you 
you have to nurse the truck, you have to, you know, be, be very careful with it. It's not even going to explode. So. Go straight on. So, there's a lot of things that this game probably will add in the future. Especially when the new game engine will come, so... Keep right and then exit right. Oh my god, the dawn. Exit right. Turn right. I like this song. I like all the songs that I've been playing throughout the day. It's quite relaxing. And I hope we can do one more trip. Get ready to turn right. I think back home we should be alright. Like a very small trip. Turn right. Back home. You know, back to the garage. And then we... Okay, where do we need to deliver? Probably, probably it's inside of this, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, it's here. Okay. It's an easy one. It, it's an easy one to... Sometimes the hitbox is just not great on this game. I think it's golden. I think it's golden, I guess. There we go, 600, 606 miles. We did add a decent payout. We, we level up. And also, I'm going to start using this for this. Yeah, well, it's a good idea. We go, how much? What time is it? Oh, I think I can do one more. Um, uh, what new parts we have unlocked? Uh, it's level five, so it wouldn't be too difficult. Better build, obviously, it's going probably. <laughs> oh, we unlocked a lot. Oh, we unlocked a new engine for Volvo. We unlocked the new chassis. Yeah, I'm going to do another one. So. Let's head into another one. Probably it's still going to be a lot smaller. Oh, we can have it 44. Jesus. That's, that would be a good payout. 
That'll be a working good payout. Should we do it? Should should we risk it for a biscuit? Yeah, kind of. Let's see what we can do from here. Ah, oh, it's not even worth it. Uh, nine hundred miles. For literally no payout. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't pay a lot this place. Let's try it on our place. Could be yeah, that's a decent payout. Five hundred miles. It's a oh but it's a double trailer. Uh what 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 we can buy with this money? I think we can start thinking about it. Okay. Buy. Not. Oh my God. Seven. We can't buy. We can't buy anything. <laughs> they are all mint condition, so we are unlucky there. And uh, we. That's all mint condition. Uh, we can buy it. <laughs> well. Okay. So we keep grinding, keep grinding. I'm just going to do a coffee break and uh, I will be right back. Probably I'm cheating. I'm going to do some, some other stuff as well. So be right back.
Uh, back. <laughs> That's uh, okay. Brrr, it's cold outside. It's really cold. Uh, we can do like two more. I reckon we can do two more again. And uh, this is uh, this is great. I think we can do this one. We're going to win a lot of money on this one, to be fair. But yeah. Let's, uh, it's a five, uh, it's an hour drive. Very great. Also, it's Ready to the good truck. Uh, we'll try to keep it. Five. It is the Kenworth. <laughs> let's uh let's drive. I don't know where to go. Oh, it's the same place we had before. It's literally the same place. <sighs> nice coffee. Do you guys like coffee? <laughs> I love coffee. It's I'm somewhat of a uh, coffee addicted. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be. Because I'm I'm having medication to technically slow me down. But I've been taking that medication so many times <laughs> that now I'm I need something to go up. It's fine. It's really fine. I suppose it's one of those analog uh, trucks. It's literally the same place as before. <laughs> oh my. Try to not be killed. That's the main part. Ah. Uh. Trying to get some sort of space to go. Oh, that wasn't me. That wasn't my fault. Oh my. Oh. You guys saw it. You guys literally saw it. It wasn't my fault. Ah. Oh, that, that was unfortunate. That, that, that wasn't on me, to be fair. That wasn't really on me. So. It's a very small GPS, to be fair. We might run into some issues, but I think it's going to have a good speed. That, that that's why I don't like sometimes here yeah, on this game. Just rhymes you for no reason. I'm trying to. Don't tax and drive, kids. It's very bad. But yeah. It is the same place we had before. But that that accident was caused by me, wasn't? Like I was already on the road. So it, it didn't attempt to slow down. 
Like, he, he just straight just didn't care. Probably owned a Mustang before, so it's it's its habit. So... <laughs> well, at least we are going to get a decent money out of this. Like, we're going to get 44 grand. It's amazing. Also, it's a sun... It's a sunlight. For the 9 hour drive, getting 44k. That's a decent payout. That's a, a very decent payout. This truck has 74,000 kilometers. Now he's behind me being a gentleman. Go on, overtake, if you want to, you moron. Yeah, now you're just sitting there. Let me check what car is this. If it's a Mustang, I'm going to blame Mustang drivers for this. I think it's, I saw it's a Charger. Yeah, it's a Charger. Uh, they have a tendency as well. A, a Charger, Charger drivers, they have that tendency as well. To run over. And takeovers. So it's basically their fault. Uh, we are getting a, a good amount of XP as well because we do also classified, um, classified parking, and uh, we do it properly. So. So it should be around good. Yeah. It's a GT style car. But if it was like an ASC or something, probably should be more visible. Uh, try not to do a lot of... Not a lot of brakes, but... Trying to look at the road as well. Okay, that's, that's reasonable. It's 51 miles per hour, I don't mind. Yeah, now it's 53 miles per hour. The GPS is quite small to be fair. <laughs> I'd rather, I will, I'd rather just have it on the two screens combined. That thing is toasted. Oh, that is, that's a very depressing love song, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on, you moron. <laughs> nah. Uh, it it was his fault because I was already on the road, so I was I was already crossing the road and I waited for it. That's why I don't like those intersections so much. They should have something or at least the speed uh, lower, lower the speed down that straight. Should have break more. But also I don't like when they do that. Jesus. Oh sorry. Time to read. But at the same time it's kinda of difficult. It's 56, not mine. Mm. 
We are golden, golden. Yeah. Like I was just saying, <laughs> so coffee for me it's um, it's uh, not it's a quite a good drink. I like it. I'm somewhat of a coffee addicted, <laughs> somewhat. Not entirely, you know. I need caffeine to live. Sometimes I can can live without. Sometimes I can even pass, you know, an afternoon without coffee. But I do like it. I do enjoy it. Go straight on. Yeah, lady, but you're going to try to keep right and then turn right. I, b I can barely see the front of my truck. On your truck, you can go be close to that car. <laughs> On the American truck, you have to <laughs> be really careful with it. Early. Nice. If we, we, if one day we can get to early. <laughs> okay, now that that was a punt. Oh, ah, that, it was a very bad punt. Come on! Don't try to crash me on me again. Yeah. Um. I don't mind. I say it's the speed limit. Okay. I need to be 45 around here. Cause that's the speed limit. Right, sixty. I try to, but if there's a, like a job, I'll try to go around the map. But if there's a good job that gets a decent payout, uh, and a lot, like somewhat short trips, if we can get a decent payout out of this, yeah. Probably I will take it. That's why I took this trip. If it wasn't, you know, for the payout, probably, yeah. Should another one. But I'll try to keep it, you know, diver diverse in terms of places we go. So we don't get bored ourselves. But it's a decent payout. It's it is a decent payout for for this job. So we're going to try to squeeze the a good amount out of it. And it's worth it. Like an hour drive, RL for forty four grand. For I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. Don't mind if it's the same place. I just want to drive and also win money. That's the main objective of you know this this uh, journey. It's to win money, build an empire, and then then we're going to start to have drivers and obviously first of all getting a truck. That's the first thing you have to do. Getting a truck, build, you know, the truck and try to restore it and whatnot. And get a good mileage out of it. Then, rebuild our garage. You know, straight off tree store garage. And then, we, we give our truck to a driver. And then, that, that they will drive for us, you know. They will drive for us. And um, and then we buy ourselves another truck. We 
We we buy ourselves another truck. And we will be golden. We buy ourselves a truck, we restore it, we start then we start to use our own truck and then we then we start to use trailers. At that point we start to build some sort of monopoly. And then we let the driver we do the work, we try to work hard. We we work hard and we we go around the stuff. We build a good reputation. And then we we hire a second driver and then we let the truck uh, we let our truck to uh, the second driver and the process repeats you know we build we build a truck and by that point we win we win a good amount of money you know two drivers two trucks one is a paid driver you build you build that you know that consistency you know and it's great I think that's a good strategy. It's a very simple strategy, but I think it will work. And and obviously, when you have that decent payout, we we starting to have you know our own trucks, you know, proper first-hand trucks, and um, and that's where we start to build our own empire by the uh, by by that point. We start to build our own empire. Obviously, we going to. We are going to, you know. Grow. We are going to grow. We are going to try. To. To build ourselves up and. First of all, we are a paid driver. We are, we are we are being paid to drive, and then we are going to build, you know, the reputation we need. This is of one more. I think it is. It's a, oh look, a Tesla. Hopefully, you, hope, uh, the oh well. Sometimes it does burn in flames. Are we going to try to see our point? That driver will go first, probably we are going next. There you go. Sometimes I do understand American road signs and road laws. They are not quite, they are, you know, sometimes similar to Europe, just a different place. different measurements eighty miles per hour I'm going to try to keep it you know civil Um don't 
don't know really when we are going to be out of Oklahoma, Texas region. I would like to be on the next episode. We're going to have a, a good trip, an extreme, however. We're going to have a good, you know, trip towards somewhere else that pays well. But, you know, uh, we are trying to, you know, get things done. Sant Antonio. Look at the skybox. The skybox looks brilliant. They did a really good job. Also, the road textures in some places are freaking mint. Uh, I haven't talked. I haven't spoke about the character itself. Uh, it's very self-explanatory. Um, George Hudson is an aspiring truck driver, you know, wants to build his own company, wants to build a reputation for himself, and so what, so forth. So he tries that, and, you know, the idea of his idea is to build the American dream, you know, being succe successful in the trucking business. That's his idea. That's basically his idea, his charisma, of once he wants to become. And uh, he's inspiring by his cousin, you know, his cousin well, is a truck driver, and uh, uh, George Hudson is, uh, got, got inspired by his cousin, don't know where he, it is, uh, to be a truck driver. And now he's starting to be a truck driver. Now he's uh, somewhat ex somewhat a newbie in the truck world, so he'll try his best uh, to be not the best truck driver in the world, but to be the most, the most, you know, to build an empire, to build the American dream. That's what, like, the story of George Hudson, in a nutshell. Um, Aspiring truck driver wants to build the American dream, wants to build the biggest company of American Truck Simulator. George Hudson. Uh, I was about to change the name to Jack Hudson, but I had to start a new profile instead. But oh well. Now it's done, you will stick to George Hudson. And uh, we're going to try to build the American dream. It's a very inspiring story. <laughs> inspiring story. Trying to build the biggest truck company in America. Um, I think it's going to have a similar story in terms of uh, Euro Truck as well. Yeah, there's not really just going on. And the storyline, what, what are you going to try to tell to people in terms of hero truck stories or truck sim stories? Yeah, that's is. What about the character? Is a little bit. It's overweight. He's a truck driver. No, he is overweight. Lives in a region that has, you know, big fat mouth. And I uh, try. He uses his abilities. He uses his abilities to be the best truck driver in the world. No, nah, nah, not the best truck driver, but the best driver in America. The best truck driver in America. Uh, if uh, George Hudson comes to Europe, he will you will face a lot of differences. 
Imagine bringing the story of George Hudson to your truck. Try to not like conflict the world and whatnot. Well, I will try to, you know, try to have an interesting story in Euro Truck and American Truck. Because it, it there's quite different atmospheres in both games and you do want you don't want to be in the same realm, you know. George Hudson. Go straight on. Yeah. I sh should have kept going. But I didn't want the ticket, so. Yo. But yeah, George Hudson is an overweight American. Sometimes rude, sometimes charismatic, and you kind of want to be in that realm. Somewhat rude, American. Somewhat charismatic and just laughs about everything. American. It's a basic American, to be fair. Why is not turning, you know, red to anything? Uh, uh, it's a very just American. How American is like in this part of the country? Yeah, just, it, George George Hudson it just is a very basic American, fat, um, fat American drives trucks all day. Sometimes it's just it is a person that lives in America. And he's trying, and he's trying to build a company. He's trying to build a company of trucks. That's what he does. Oh shit! Shit! <laughs> uh, sometimes I get overexcited on the gas pedal. Trying to get somewhere. Go straight on. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's very American. Say its character and whatnot. It, like that's what you need to know about the carries. Very American, very proud of this country. It tries to build a reputation, tries to build a 
know, can, tries to build a company, a truck company, and that's pretty much about it. And I was working hard for it. <laughs> Do you think the update 1.49 is coming to um, your truck next week? Yeah, probably. They would, you know. And that probably there's a space of one week difference between the update for American Aero Truck. No, if updates, if a uh, Aero Truck updates first, is American is going to get an update later. You know, it's somewhat like between those two. But uh, the update 1.485.5, um, was more of a formality because of the Balkan DLC. But now the proper update came in and it is fantastic. Wacko! We're going to add to Wacko. Not trying to be blind in terms of lines. That's how roads in America are. Just you try to blind them in the lanes. They make the lanes white, but then they make the the roads made out of concrete, which is mostly white. So you are the worst. You have the worst of the wor of the worlds. Of both worlds. So, the fuck. There's a cop beside me, and I'm not like this idea. So, fuck off. But anyway. But yeah, it's basically. I say. Just trying to read the emails. Probably something was important. But uh, that wasn't. So. We move on. Keep left. Keep left. Alright. Um, we're going to get a decent payout of this. Probably I will do two more trips. This one and the next one. I, I'm feeling the vibe of this game. Which makes me play for hours on end. We haven't done special transport yet, which is uh, kind of oopsie. I th I don't think there is special transport until a certain level, so we keep driving. We keep going our thing. So we're going to keep driving until the end of times. Why? Uh. <laughs> I I nearly did an oopsie. That that was my fault. That that was my fault. If I had if I had crashed, that was my fault because I shouldn't be that close. But um, let's go. We have 500 miles and three hours, two hours to our destination. So it's golden. It is golden. Let me check the mileage. Oh, it's golden, baby. It's golden. It's really the gold. It's golden. We're going to win the jackpot on this. So, and also yeah, there's the haze uh, around. It's been threatening to rain a lot in recent times. I think it's gonna rain very, very hard and very, very just pour down rain in the near future. There is going to have a 
thunderstorm and whatnot. Uh, I think it's better to have the headlights on. Because, uh, it, the eye beams, you know, it, they, the eye beams. You know why? Because it uses as the fog lights. If your car doesn't have fog lights, you, you use your eye beams. It's a, it's a, an equivalent solution. Why everyone is so slow? I don't know why everyone is so slow. I had to cut off there because someone was in my room. Yeah. Oh, it's because of this. <laughs> Classic cars. Yeah. They don't drive very fast anymore. They used to. But they, they don't drive fast anymore. But, um... Now we are heading into a haze again. Uh, Santo Antonio in one mile. Uh, I, I think we are heading into Santo Antonio, right? Or is somewhat equivalent? Santo Antonio. We are heading to Houston. Oh, Houston. We are heading to Houston. Okay. And GPS didn't say, didn't say it like so. Road works, okay. Ah, uh, there's the rain. There's the rain, there we go. Oh, it's heavy. It's, it's somewhat heavy. There it goes. Wait station. Uh, where, where is the wait station? Can't simply bugger off. There's the heavy rain. It's gonna rain, but it's going to have thunderstorms, I think. Time to shit myself. I reckon it's going to have thunderstorms. Why you are in the middle of the road, you moron? Oh my god. You thought this was a good idea to merge in. Go on. This not the this is not a place to merge. Also you are in the rain without any protection on the top. Like, who the fuck? What was your ID, you? The bean. Okay. I'm I'm saying a lot of swear words. I shouldn't. It's nice <laughs> to murder. Like it's a, it's what they do on the road essentially. Like, like when people do something wrong on the road, they sh just just swear. Just swear that's natural people. 
69,000 pounds. That's the weight of some people. <laughs> I'm not, it's not a mom, your mom joke. No, no. No, no. Uh, that's some weight of some people. Yeah. Now we are heading to Santo Antonio. <sighs> oh my god, that, that's a good song for this type of driving. Now we are headed to Sant Antonio. Oh my god, the the reverb. I have somewhat realistic sounds on this. So apologize if you have somewhat of a ear rape from time to time. Dollars I to be keeping right because I know there's something. Keep left and then exit left. Oh, it's this intersection again. Oh. Uh, I don't like that intersection. <laughs> it is one of the worst intersections in this game. Because you can't see it coming. You can't see it coming and it's frustrating. Like it's a very complicated intersection. If you know the road, if you know where I'm going, yeah, it's fine. But as a beginner, nah. Like he, you are thrown into the ditch. Look out! Do 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 do. Come on, pass, you idiot! Oh, f oh, for fuck's sake, GPS. Yeah, don't, don't say a word. Oh my God, that's GPS fault. That's the GPS fault. Sometimes it doesn't say the the instructions. Like that's f mm. Sorry. Wait, what?
strange. Oh my god, I, I hate when the GPS doesn't say the instructions. And if you don't know the road, sucks to be you. Hopefully it didn't damage the truck too much. Let's see. Oh fuck. It did damage the truck quite a bit. Keep right and then turn now you say the instructions, you balance. Turn right. After damaging the truck. Probably I'm going to be pay uh, be down downpaid a lot. Like I'm not going to get paid, you know, the full thing. Oh, right before we arrive. Brilliant. Right before we arrive. We have a crash like this. For fuck's sake. I hate when it happens. Like you you are cra you crashed a few moments before you arrive. Like, it's not even an accident or anything, just, like, it's just GPS fault. <laughs> just GPS fault, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, we have a garage. And that's a truck garage for another company. Get ready to turn left. Uh, probably it's around here. Yeah. Turn left. Oh. 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 Finally, we are here. Where is the interest to this thing? Probably I butched the entrance, like badly. I, I hate moments like this. I really hate. Which you when you butch the entrance and you come on open. Oh. Also, it's getting dark again. But we have money. We can finally get our respective rest. Where's Ohm? Probably I need to go you know, backwards on this one. What she need? <laughs> yeah, now I have damage to the thing. Oh my god, this is... The worst trip we have done so far is this one. What a horrible experience. Also, it's the most, the most paid, so we get somewhat of a bonus there. Is I 
I need to see where I'm going. There we go, it's done, we got, we got the money, we got the moolish, oh that, that ain't be good, yeah 2000, yeah, at least we gained some experience out of this, which is uh, absolutely nice, um, I'm going to put on long distances, I think long distance is like the one that gets a, the most amount of money quickly. So we have 97,000, which is probably nice to buy a truck. Oh yeah, we have, uh, we have some, we have some, oh, that, that's really good as well. It's the cheapest one, but it's like in very good condition. Oh, that, like, yeah, 7%, probably to the, or we can buy this one, which is a Western Star. Or we can buy a Peter Built, which has no damage at all. We have a good budget, so I would like to have a Volvo. Uh, that's uh, that's still good, uh, right? That's still great. Or five, yeah, uh, that's out of our reach, to be fair. This ones are out of our reach. Um, that that's great, actually. To have some some of these offers. I would like I would like to have this. You know, obviously it's damage, but in terms of permanent damage, we we can fix like. The stuff. We can fix all of this. Like all the damage. Uh, the wear. Like we can fix it. But the permanent damage you have to fully rebuild. Uh, I think it's nice. I, I think we can deal with it. Obviously there's also. Higher prices. But. If I want to build a truck. That probably that will be great. It's heading to the garage. There we go. We have our first truck in American Truck Simulator. Yahoo! Oh, nice. Uh, I'm in the first outing of this episode. Obviously, I did some, you know, training, whatever. Did some try practice on our first outing. On our first outing of first episode, we build a truck, which is nice. We have uh, money for our truck and everything, and we still have money to at least repair some of the parts. And also, it's a nice truck. Yeah, we, we, we dealt, we dealt with stuff. There's no damage on the truck. 
I should say, but the things we can fix at least, the where we we can deal with, you know, it just takes time. We can we can also build our engine. We can replace the engine. We can replace the the things. We we have the money. You know, we go to here. The where, obviously, there's no. Th yeah, thirty-seven thousand. But at least we can obviously. Re oh, we can replace the gearbox. Um, which is nice. Ah, uh, in terms of chassis, yeah, it's the most thing. What is the total payout? Oh, okay. We have to fit, and then we have a ten percent commission. Okay. In terms of tires. Like, it is great, like, if we, I think we can have a new engine of this. Okay, have a, oh, it's not even on our budget, to be fair. Okay, that, that's great. At least we have a truck, which was the main goal of this. So, we, we're going to take a screenshot. We we bought our first truck. Now we'll try. Try to keep it like more towards realism. But we can actually we can build a lot of money. Like now we can have a decent amount of money. Now we can have a decent amount of money. Uh we can actually rebuild the truck. Um obviously uh, we are not going to use our own truck for this, so uh we are going to do some trips. Some, yeah, we're going to New Mexico next. We're going from Banff, yeah, it's, it's not a decent payout, but at the same time, this one isn't either. So, yeah, it is. It is quite. But we can we can make this trip next episode. Some somewhere around this trip, next episode. Next stream, I think. I think I think we we can have a start to have a decent money and then you know go towards the garage now. So, um, I was about to do a trip, but time went by and I I need to do stuff as well. But at least we got a truck on our own. We got the truck to ourselves, which is nice. So, I will see you guys next time. We're going to continue the journey of uh, George Hudson through to be the truck driver of and after and also uh fast as in in the capsules uh, fast and quick um journey. I will see you guys next time. Next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, that was awful.